Welcome to Easy Maths. In this lesson, we're going to turn our attention to the trigonometric ratios of negative angles. And as always, I would like if you like, share, and subscribe. Please, I'll always appreciate. So let's now turn, turn our focus to trigonometric ratios of negative angles. Um, we are going to try this part by trying out some questions and before us is, is a question there. It says find the three trigonometric ratios of the following angles. All of these ones are negative angles and as we begin I want to mention that negative angles are normally angles that are measured clockwise from the zero 360 line. And that means if this is the, the, the these are the four quadrants these angles are measured in this particular direction from the zero 360 de degree line. You know, normally we normally measure angles anti-clockwise, but these ones are measured clockwise, and that's why we call them negative angles. Now, this the uh, operations of these sort of trigonometric ratios normally involves a conversion, and the conversion normally involves you get 360 degrees minus the angle that is given. That is, if you're given minus 20 degrees or minus 310 or minus 160 or minus 210, whatever angle you're given, you just say 360 minus the theta. That means in this case, we'd have 360 minus 20. Anyway, let's see how that goes on in the examples. For negative 20, we'll do it this way. We first of all convert by having 360 minus 20. And that means the angle negative 20 degrees is the same as 360 minus 20 degrees. So that angle actually is 340. Now, therefore, now the sine of 340 would be the same as the negative sine 360 minus 340 because of the quadrant where it lies and this conversion in that, in that particular quadrant. You see, sine is only positive in the first and second and negative in the two others. And the conversion in that quadrant normally is 360 minus theta. And therefore, it will be negative sine of 20 degrees, which is negative um, 0 0.3420. Again, the cos of 340 will be equal to cos of 360 minus 340. This time around is positive because cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. The same as cos of 20, which is uh, 0 0.9397. Turning on to tan, we have tan of 340 would be the same as negative tan 360 minus 340, which gives us a negative tan of 20, and that answer will be 0 point, negative 0 0.3640. We turn to the second question, negative 310 degrees. So we convert that by just having 360 minus 310. And that answer there gives us 50 degrees. And therefore, what you're looking for is a sine of 50, which is uh, that number there, 0 0.7660. The cos of 50, which is 0 0.6429. And sine of tan of 50, which is uh, 1.1918. Turning on to negative 360 degrees, we convert by having 360 minus 160. And maybe I should mention that for all of these angles, they are given negatives here. But what we are doing is we just get 360 minus. Or just in another way, it's just uh, the given angle you add 360. I'm insisting this part because um, we should not have double negatives to make it uh, positive. So it's just 360 minus 20, ignore the negative. 360 minus 310, ignore the negative, and the same for the other two. So 360, uh, negative 160 degrees, the answer will be, we are looking for trigonometric ratios of the angle 200 degrees. Since 160, negative 160 is same as uh, 200 degrees. Now the sine of 200 would be negative sine of 200 minus 180 because um, this is an angle in the second, in the third quadrant where only tan is positive. Therefore sine is negative. The conversion there is normally theta minus 180 and therefore we have it this particular way. Sine of 200 is same as negative sine of 200 minus 180. Therefore, it's the same as negative sine of 20, which is negative 0 0.3420. Uh, Again, the cos of 200 degrees will be negative cos of 200 minus 180, which is a negative cos of 20, which is a negative 0 0.9397. And the tan of uh, 200 degrees will be a positive one, because tan is positive in that quadrant, and it's going to be tan 20, which is the same as uh, 0 0.3640. Turning on to the last question, we have negative 20, negative 210 degrees. We convert by 360 minus the given angle, which is 150. And therefore, sine of 150 is positive, so it's going to be sine 180 minus 150, which is sine, which is a sine of 30. And the answer is 0 0.5. The cos of 150 will be negative cos 180 minus 150. 
which is the same as a negative cos of 30 degrees and the answer is 0 0.8660 and it's negative S lastly the tan of 150 will be the same as negative tan 180 minus 150 which is negative tan of 30 and the answer is a negative 0 0.5774 and that brings me to the end of that particular section uh, trigonometric ratios of negative angles please check out for the next video um, and yeah I'll appreciate it. thank you